Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we will be discussing about the coding of the stack. Uh, wherein, if we have been given a string, and if we have to find out if that is a palindrome or not. So, uh, you I hope you remember that in the last uh, video we have discussed about how to find the reverse of the given string. So it is very simple that uh, if a string is given as uh, a b a, and the reverse string is also a b a. That means that both the strings are the palindrome. So palindrome means uh, the original and the reverse strings are same. Now we are uh, we are with the same program that we had discussed in the last term in the last video, where we have been given a string as str, and we have reversed that using the stack. So the str is the original string and answer is the string which has been reversed and in order to check if that string and the original string after they are same either we can do the character by character comparison or we can use the string library function str cmp so in, in the str cmp if we pass str and answer a string both and uh, let's say the outcome of this uh, strcmp function is stored in some c and the c would be an integer and if the c is uh, 0 that means both the strings are same if the c is not same means the given strings are not palindrome they are not same so you can just apply a check if c is equals to 0 then Okay. given a string as a parameter but in case uh, c is not 0 we should write that the given a string is not a parameter so else given a string is not a parameter Now let us execute this. Yes, we need to uh, have the definition of the function strcmp for that. You can include a header file string.h. So let's say you take the string ABA. So ABA is a palindrome. So it has it has actually given the message that the given string is a palindrome. Let's take another string which is not a palindrome. So take a string ABC. So given the string is not a palindrome. So ABA was a palindrome, but ABC is not a palindrome. Fine. So now this was the one of the way wherein we are actually uh, reversing the string and then checking if the given string is a palindrome or not. Uh, what you can do that, uh, you can perform the uh, comparison of the characters even when you are, not, even when you have not formed the second string. Okay, so forming the second string is just an overhead. In case uh, uh, you can actually check uh, if the given string is a palindrome or not by some other means as well. So I'm removing this code where we have formed the second string. Okay. Now just to check uh, if the given string is a palindrome or not, let's say AB is the string original string given to us, and then you have uh, started uh, storing every element of this string in the stack so first is a so on stack we insert a then you have b so in the stack at the top you insert b and then you have another a so at the top of the stack you insert this a so at the top of the stack you have a below this you have b and below this you have a now we need to make a comparison character by character with the original string and the stack characters. So if the top of the stack matches with the first character of the string, 
you remove this top of the stack. Now you match top of the stack this B with this B character, the second character of this of the string. Since there is a match, remove this element. Now if we uh, you are comparing the last element of the string, the last character of the string with the top of the stack. Since there is a match, I remove this stack. Remove this character from the stack. Now after this, if the stack has become empty, it means my string is a palindrome. Okay. Now we have pushed every element of this string, every character of this string on the stack with these lines of the codes. Okay. Now after this, by the time the stack is not empty. match the characters okay so for matching of the character you need to start from the first character in the string so the top of the stack can be accessed through stack top so stack top is a function that will read out the first character or the top character of the string and compare it with the ith character of the string if there is a match between these two You pop that item from the stack. You call the pop uh, function. It will remove the top element from the stack. Okay. And in case, we shall write the exceptional cases later. We're just checking if the given string is a palindrome. We're considering that the given string is a palindrome, and then writing the code according to that. Now, by not empty s. When I, by the time the stack is not empty, we are comparing the top element of the stack with the ith character of the string. If they match, we are popping the stack. And we are going to check the next element of the string to the stack top. So that's why I press this. Okay. When uh, we end up with this loop, in case the stack is empty, if empty s. If the stack is empty, this empty s function will turn 2 or plus 1. So if a stack is empty, it means the given string is a palindrome. So write the statement, if the stack is empty, given a string is a palindrome. Okay. Now for this line of the books. Now what about this? If the given string is not a palindrome. Now if the given string is not a palindrome, this will not match. For example, I have a string a b b a b c a. Now uh, we are going to, to push all the characters of the string on the stack. First a will be pushed, and then b will be pushed, then c will be pushed, and finally a will be pushed. So the top of the stack has a. This is the top of the stack a. Now, since this is the top of the stack, I'm going to match it with the first character of the string. Yes, there is a match, so I will pop the this character. Now, the top of the stack is C. We are going to match the second character of the string with the C. So let's see that you can see that there is no match. So, since there is no match, it means uh, the given string cannot be a palindrome. So, if there is a mismatch, we have to exit on this loop. In case there is a mismatch, you can come out of this loop. So just break this loop. And if you are breaking this loop, there are two conditions possible. Either this loop has a natural end when the stack has become empty, or this loop has a termination when the stack top character and the string character has not matched. So in case the stack is empty, the given string would be a palindrome. And in case this the given string, uh, in case this stack is not empty, that string will not be a palindrome. So, if empty star s, given string is a palindrome. Otherwise, it is not a palindrome. Now let us check by running this program. Let's build this. 
yes this is not expected everything is fine let's check with the string which is a palindrome yes this is a palindrome and then we check with the string which is not a palindrome Given a string is a given a string is not coming true. Okay, so this way you can check if the given a string is a palindrome or not. Thank you.